Lesson Four: The Double Life of Alfred Plox. This text will tell us about a man who wanted to change his job. 这一课呢，我们要讲一个想换工作的人。Now, first, listen to the text with this question: Why did Alf want a white-collar job? 为什么 Alf 想要做一个白领的工作？ These days, people who do manual work often receive far more money than people who work in offices. People who work in offices are frequently referred to as white-collar workers for the simple reason that they usually wear a collar and tie to go to work. Such is human nature that a great many people are often willing to sacrifice higher pay for the privilege of becoming white-collar workers. This can give rise to curious situations, as it did in the case of Alfred Bloggs, who worked as a dustman for the Ellesmere Corporation. When he got married, Alf was too embarrassed to say anything to his wife about his job. He simply told her that he worked for the corporation. Every morning, he left home dressed in a smart black suit. He then changed into overalls and spent the next eight hours as a dustman. Before returning home at night, he took a shower and changed back into his suit. Alf did this for over two years, and his fellow dustman kept his secret. Alf's wife has never discovered that she married a dustman, and she never will, for Alf has just found another job. He will soon be working in an office. He will be earning only half as much as he used to, but he feels that his rise in status is well worth the loss of money. From now on, he will wear a suit all day, and others will call him Mr. Bloggs, not Alf. Now, after listening, have you answered the question? Why did Alf want a white-collar job? Right, because he thought it was higher in status than a dustman. Because Alf 觉得一个白领工人比一个清洁工人的地位高。课文一开始就告诉我们，但是 Alf 跟很多人一样更看重 status， 于是呢，只好对自己的妻子都隐瞒身份。他每天上班和下班其实都是摇身一变。So he led a double life. 课文结束的时候呢 ，Alf 还是实现了自己的愿望，找到了一个白领的工作。But he earned only half as much， 但是只挣了原来的一半的工资。All right, now we'll look at the language points. The double life of Alfred Bloggs. Double， 我们都知道，其实就是两个或者成双的意思。比如我们在读单词里重复的字母的时候。C O double L A R 会这样读，或者在读一个电话号码 ，double four one three double two。那么双人床或者双人房间呢是 double bed or double room。但是课文里的 double 意思是双重的 ，two different kinds of life。同样，我们讲衡量事物的时候使用双重标准。就是 double standard. These days, people who do manual work often receive far more money. Manual, 它最基本的意思就是 by hand， 手动的。比如手动的打字机就是 a manual typewriter。跟它相对，电子打字机就是 an electric typewriter。Manual worker. 或者称作 manual labor， 是 physical labor， 体力劳动的意思。跟它相对，脑力劳动就是 mental work or mental labor。People who work in offices are frequently referred to as white collar. Referred to means be mentioned, be described, 被称为白领。
。那么 refer to 还有一个词义就是 look at， 就是参考或者参看。For example, he spoke without referring to the notes. 他讲话的时候没有看稿子。Such is human nature that a great many people are often willing to sacrifice higher pay. 这句话的正常语序应当是 Human nature is such that a great many people are often willing. 那么 such 放在句首的时候要倒装。我们常常听到人们说 Such is life 是表示无可奈何的，生活就是这样。这里也是用 such 放在句首，把 life 跟 is 倒装。Sacrifice higher pay for the privilege of becoming white-collar workers. Sacrifice 的本意是 to kill and offer to God or gods， 就是我们讲的为了祭神的牺牲。And then figuratively, it means give up. 那么从这个本意呢，引申出来的意思就是，为了什么而放弃、而牺牲某种利益。这里呢，就是说，为了得到成为白领工人的特权，而牺牲掉体力劳动者更高的报酬。I'll give you one more example. Many women sacrifice their careers for their family. 很多女人呢，为了家庭而牺牲掉了自己的事业。The privilege of becoming white-collar workers. Privilege means special advantage, 特权。比如贵族阶层的特权就是 aristocratic privilege. This can give rise to curious situations. Give rise to means be the reason why something happens. 成为什么事情的原因？这个呢是比较书面化的说法。这里呢就是说，人们的这种心理引起了奇怪的情形。I'll give you one more example. The recent accident is giving rise to national concern. 最近的事故呢，使得全国都关注。这里 curious situations。Means strange situations. 我们比较熟悉的 curious 的意思是好奇的。For example, babies are curious about everything around them. 婴儿对自己身边的所有事情都感兴趣。But look at this sentence. She was wearing a curious smile on her face. 这里 a curious smile 就是说古怪的笑容。Alf was too embarrassed. Embarrassed 在这句中可以理解为非常为难。表达不舒服的状态呢？英文中还有一些形容词。我们来举一些例子，看看它们中间有什么细微差别。Embarrassed 除了课文这句当中为难的意思之外，还可以强调一种困窘。For example, I was really embarrassed when I spilled coffee on his shirt. 当我把咖啡泼在他的衬衫上的时候，我觉得困窘极了。He was ashamed of having lied to his family. 这里 ashamed 表达的是羞愧。He was too shy to ask her to dance with him. Shy 的词义是羞涩，不好意思。And in this one, he feels awkward with women. Awkward 强调的是别扭、不自在。A smart black suit. Smart here means good-looking and stylish. 既漂亮呢，又新潮。同样，在这个例子当中 ，a smart restaurant. Smart also means fashionable. 一家时尚的餐馆。Smart， 我们当然知道这个词还有其他的意思。For example, a smart kid. Is a clever kid. 但是呢，做聪明讲的时候 ，smart 有时候带有贬义。For example, a smart lawyer. It can mean a cunning lawyer, 就是狡猾的。
well worth the loss of money. Well 在这里表示强调 very much worth the loss of money. Well ahead of time 同样也是强调尽量提前。最后呢，我要说一点。这篇课文因为讲到 Alfred 他的双重生活，所以使用了一些词语来进行两种不同身份的比较。我们来看看课文是怎样表达的。People who do many work often receive far more money than people who work in offices. He will be earning only half as much as he used to. 那么使用比较级 more than 和 as as 都是我们非常熟悉的比较方式。他们在句子当中的作用呢也比较明显，但是课文中另外有一些词语是隐含着比较的意思。我们来看这个句子 ：People are often willing to sacrifice higher pay for the privilege。这里呢 ，sacrifice for 其实就是说和以前相比有所牺牲，而 privilege 当然就是表示一种 advantage。得失的比较呢，就得到了很生动的表达。He feels that his rise in status is well worth the loss of money. Rise 和 loss 起的作用跟 privilege 一样，而 well worth 显然也就表示 status 比 money 更加重要。All right. Now we'll come back to the text briefly before we call it a day. 这篇课文呢，讲的是 of。选择的一种双重生活。他之所以这样选择，其实是出于自己的心态。他的这种心态，说白了就是阶级意识。阶级差别在英文中呢，就是 class distinction。那么一个社会中有 upper class、middle class， 还有 lower class。识别不同的阶层有什么样的标志呢？课文呢已经给我们举了一些例子，比如说 ，Alf 要伪装成白领工人，一定要换上西装，因为服饰是阶层的一个标志。还有呢，称谓，他在做清洁工的时候，别人叫他 Alf， 坐了办公室就会被称为 Mr. Locks。在英国还有重要的一点，可以识别一个人的身份和阶层，那就是。Accent, 你的口音 As soon as you open your mouth, people will know which particular class you are from. 你只要一开口讲话，人们就会从你的发音上判断出来你是来自什么阶层、什么样的文化背景。在英国呢，于是有 posh accent， 或者说 Queen's English 这种说法。就是因为呢，这样的英文，这样的口音，不仅仅是标准，而且带有贵族味道，它是一种阶层的标志。Okay, so much about this topic. I'll see you next time.